Why do you think there is low protein recommendations and philosophy out there? I've interviewed a few really well esteemed researchers on my podcast who hold this opinion that we should actually be protein and calorie restricting as we get older. So when you look at the mechanism and you under stimulate things like mTOR, you see a reduction in the likelihood of cancer rates in lab studies looking at rodents. You can understand why this has led to the hypothesis that if you under consume protein, you reduce the promotion of tumor promoting genes. And this is actually a good strategy for longevity. But in the real world, when you're not appreciating the impact of your immune cells, your resilience to things like common colds and influenza, you can see why that would be actually antithetical to a pragmatic approach to longevity. All of which relate back to amino acid consumption. Exactly. I can see why people get stuck in that mechanistic whole of, okay, we need to be under consuming protein or lowering our protein consumption for longevity benefits, but we don't live in lab environments. We live in the real world.